Hi and welcome to this fun DNA video review. Today I will review Game Booster. It's software created to boost your computer to play games better. First you can download Game Booster on the official website iobit.com slash gamebooster. I'll include the link of it in the video description. It's a free program and it's uh, only around one megabyte so it's installed and downloaded really fast. Now when you start Game Booster you'll see a window like this. It's uh, uh, it has a switch to gaming mode and here you can just check boxes what you want. You can better leave them all on because uh, you don't need them while you're playing games. Then uh, here don't press uh, clean and boost PC, you'll uh, be redirected to the website of the de developer. And uh, uh, if you do it uh, you have to buy another program, this is all free. Game defrag. I tried it myself but uh, if you want to do it you have to... Uh, choose a game but uh, most of the games if you analyze them they said no fragmented files a bad thing about the program is that uh, analyzing really takes a long time and now you see there are no fragmented files so it uh, isn't uh, really a good uh, game defrag uh, thing because it really doesn't work very well I skip the analyzing process every time, so it goes fast for you. With Dragon Age Origins, you see now there are some files that can be defragged. So you uh, click, and it's uh, the defragging the file. It doesn't uh, go very fast, but it goes fast enough. And if I'm right, the game will load uh, and run uh, lots, lots faster. So. Uh, it's a nice feature. I'll skip the process now for you because it doesn't ro go really fast. It took some time but now you see the defrag is finished. So uh, there are no fragmented files now. Now uh, I'll show you how to switch to gaming mode. It, uh, it shows some unnecessary programs like uh, antivirus and daemon tools. You can show all the processes. There are a lot more but uh, you can just check all if you want to uh, close everything but you can better not do it because you also will close explorer.exe and lots of programs you need to uh, play the game so you, d you only uh, do the recommended it's easier then close them and it will switch to the gaming mode it uh, doesn't go very fast but uh, I think it's fast enough I'll uh, skip the process for you so it's already finished uh, and uh, you don't uh, see any changes on my computer but notice here the little game booster icon in the taskbar if you double click on it it uh, you can see what's all closed and stopped and uh, the best thing in it is that uh, when you go back to the normal mode it just uh, starts every program again so you can uh, play games and then go back I uh, I think it's a very uh, good uh, program. It's well made. It's uh, fast. So I would uh, give the interface uh, a seven or an eight because it's uh, really clear where everything is located and it's not very hard. The only hard thing is here when you do edit service list, you get something like this. You really have to have knowledge of the software to understand how it uh, works. But uh, the other things are very clear and uh, it works well. So uh, I would give the speed uh, around a 6, it's not very fast, but it makes your computer a lot faster, so uh, that's a good thing, and uh, it does what it needs to do, so uh, I would give the everything around an 8 or a 9, so that's very good. I recommend it to everyone who likes to play games on uh, his or her computer. Thanks for watching this fun DNA review, I hope you enjoyed it. And please leave a comment if you have any questions. See you next time on another video of fundina.com. Thanks for watching.